All right, welcome back to the Milk and Cookies podcast. My name's Anthony, as you as you've seen me for the past couple of episodes. And today we're here with Jay in the Bay. He's a San Francisco 49er fan. And why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself, Jay? Faithful Niner Empire. What's good? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. And it's a pleasure to be on the Milk and Cookies podcast. I appreciate you for having me on. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So let's just hop right into the season schedule. Week one, you're on the road. You're at Detroit. What do you expect in this game? So this should be a easy game from a fan perspective. You know, the Lions, they have a new head coach, new GM, new quarterback. Uh, new they have a, a new energy into their team. But as a fan, I already know the Niners are better than the Lions. Uh, but hopefully the players take this game real seriously. Uh, you know, it's the first game of the season. You got to kick the season off right. Uh, and Jared Goff, he doesn't play too well against the 49ers. And I think that'll continue uh, once we fly down to Motown. And I think the Niners will take this win and uh, just to kick off the season, a win against the Detroit Lions. All right. So week two, you're staying on the East Coast. You're playing the Philadelphia Eagles. What do you see in this game? Now, Jalen Hurts is an interesting quarterback. Uh, you know, he's a young guy, but he's mobile and mobile quarterbacks have given the 49ers issues in the past. You know, think about Kyler Murray, you think about Russell Wilson, but obviously Jalen Hurts is not at that level yet. Uh, I think he'll have some turnovers and that'll, the 49ers defense will capitalize on those turnovers. That'll lead to easy points for the 49ers, a short, a short field to get to the other team's end zone. And uh, I think the 49ers will win against the Eagles and that will be 2-0. All right, so you're two and zero. You finally have your home opener against the Green Bay Packers. Sunday night football fans are going to be ecstatic for this game. It's going to go great. You're playing the Green Bay Packers at home. What do you expect? As you mentioned, this is the 49ers home opener. Sunday night football prime time. That's going to be a hell of a game. Uh, I can't wait for it. You know, the big question about this game, of course, is what's the status of Aaron Rodgers? Right, Obviously, right. if he's not playing, the 49ers have a better chance of winning. Uh, but even if he plays, uh, I think the 49ers should do well. As long as our defensive line uh, can get pressure against Rodgers, uh, I feel like we can do pretty well. And also, we can run the ball. We established the run. I think we'll do pretty good in this game. I think that would be a win against the Green Bay Packers. Prime time football. Can't wait. All right. So 3-0, and you stay home. You're playing the Seattle Seahawks and a divisional opponent, first divisional game of the season, a 1 o'clock start. What do you expect? Division games are always tough, um, and I feel like the 49ers are in the toughest division in the NFL, the NFC West. Uh, this will be a tough game. I think it will come down to whoever has the least amount of turnovers, uh, least amount of penalties. And honestly, who has the ball, you know, at the end of the game? And uh, unfortunately, I think the Niners will take their first loss um, against the Seattle Seahawks. All right, so three and one to start off the season. And then you go back on the road to face another divisional opponent, the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona is one of those interesting teams. They got Kyler Murray. They have J.J. Watt. You lose some receivers, but they're a good team. Yeah. What do you do? You think it's going to be a high-scoring game, low-scoring game, defense, offense battle? What do you expect? I think, I think it could be. Uh, I think it could be like around thirty to twenty-seven, something in between so, there. So a game ending on a field goal. Exactly. Yeah, I think it could be a, a game ending on a field goal. Uh, I think the Niners will take this win. Um, Kyler Murray has definitely given us trouble before, mm -hmm. and uh, but I think we'll be ready for him. And I think our offense will do pretty well against the Cardinals' defense. All right. So. You get an early bye week, week yeah. six bye. I know you're not as happy about that. No, no. It's no, way no. too early in the season. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but after the bye week, you regroup, get healthy, stay healthy, let's hope. You got week seven, Sunday night football against the Indianapolis Colts. What yeah, you... I, I would definitely the, – the bye week is definitely early. You know, obviously we'd rather have a bye week at least week 10, week 11, you know, like somewhere – Exactly. Somewhere in the, in the middle of the season or a little bit after the middle of the season. But 
you know, this is a great opportunity to, f to face the Indianapolis Colts. They've, they've got a hell of a defense. They got DeForest Buckner. Obviously, he was a beast with my 49ers. I'm still still so sore that, you know, that we that we uh, traded him. But, you know, business is right. business. But you know, as you mentioned, we have a bye week. You know, Kyle Shanahan and the staff will have more time to prepare for the Colts. Uh, the, the, the Niners players will be rested. They'll be refreshed. They'll be ready to go. And another prime time game. So I can't wait for that one. But I think we'll have the edge in that game against the Colts, and I think we'll win that. So five and one, you go back to the East Coast. A lot of East Coast travel, and you see. You face Justin Fields and the Bears. Do yep. you see this is the first game Trey Lance may start? Uh, I don't see it. Uh, you know, if I, if I had my druthers – you know, Jimmy G would start every game this year. Right. I feel Jimmy G at this point is – obviously he has more experience in the NFL. Um, he's shown that he can lead a team to a Super Bowl, and that's why I feel like he's still on the team. I feel right. like Jimmy G – yeah, I feel like Jimmy G will start as long as he's playing well. He's not turning over the ball, and the team is winning. If the team is winning, I just don't see why Jimmy G should be taken out. Um, but it would be interesting to go up against Justin Fields, obviously – Leading up to the draft, it was either Fields, Mac Jones, or Trey. And I'm definitely right. glad we got Trey. Uh, but that should be a, a good game. You know, Halloween in Shot Town. It's an early kick for the Niners, you know, uh, in the Midwest. Uh, yeah. But I like the Niners' chances in that game. I think we'll frustrate the rookie quarterback, and the Niners should win that game. All right. So, week nine, you return back home to face Arizona. You already faced them earlier in the season. What do you expect? Do you see win, loss, maybe blowout, close game tie? I think this would definitely be another close game, but I think the Cardinals will will win this game uh, against us. I don't think we'll go undefeated against any division team uh, this so year. I'd be surprised. Series. It'll be a split series. Exactly. I think Arizona will get that win. Yeah. Right. yeah. So week 10, a Monday night football game now against the Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles does have some new talent, including Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford, they got some weapons on offense and some weapons on defense. What do you see in this game? The L.A. Rams definitely have improved, especially at the quarterback position with getting Matt Stafford. There's no doubt about that. You know, Matt Stafford doesn't have the playoff success on his resume, but he's definitely been a prolific passer. And he's in a perfect situation with the Rams. They have – you know, a lot of offensive weapons. They also got Donald Ramsey, um, Leonard Floyd on defense. And I think the Rams will take this game uh, against the Niners on prime time. So you got six and three. And then now you travel all the way out to Florida, where I'm from, to face mm -hmm. Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor <laughs> Time, Travis Etienne, some, a new flashy team, yeah. and Urban Meyer as your head coach. Do you see this being a trap game? It's funny you mentioned that. I was going to mention that, yeah, this could be a potential trap game for the Niners. You know, we have to fly to the East Coast. It's an early 10 a.m. start. Problem. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, you know, I think the 49ers, if they play uh, up to their level, this should be an easy win uh, against the Jacksonville Jaguars. They do have some weapons on offense. I'm not too right. sure about their defense, but uh, I think this should be a, a yeah, win. Their defense is iffy, the Jaguars' defense. Okay. But got some holes to fill. Okay. Yeah, but I think that this should be a win. Yeah. And then you come back home, come back home, face the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota's another one of those teams. Do you expect them to have a good year or maybe a setback year? They had yeah. a decent year last year, just from everything I saw. But what do you expect on this game? Yeah, the Vikings have a pretty good defense. You know, Kirk Cousins, he's a solid quarterback. Uh, they got an excellent running back. Uh, his name is escaping me right now, but he, he's, he's an excellent running back, probably top three running back, Yeah, uh, I would say. And um, they got receivers. They got defense. They have it all. Uh, but I think this should be a, a game that the 49ers Dalvin should Cook. win. Exactly, Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Cook. Yeah, he's a beast. Um, but I, I feel like our defense should be pretty stout run defense, and I think uh, we should be able to keep him in check, and I think the 49ers should win this game. All right, so eight and three. Now you're going to Seattle in the cold, December 5th, a Sunday night game, 12th man team. <laughs> what are you expecting? The, Ni the Niners will definitely, I would say the Niners will definitely win this game against Seattle. 
Uh, we're going to Seattle. We beat them last year in Seattle. Or was that the year before? That might have been the year before. We beat them in Seattle. Uh, obviously, Russell Wilson, they got the weapons. We know they got the weapons yeah. on offense. <laughs> the defense is uh, – I think the defense is, is suspect. Yeah. They, you know, they, they re-signed they, – they signed uh, Kerry Hyder, who used to be on the Niners last year. Kerry Hyder had a breakout year, eight and a half sacks. Uh, they also re-signed Carlos Dunlap. So the edge rush, they should be able to rush the passer. But I think this would be a close game, like a 28-27. Niners pull out a victory uh, in Seattle in front of the 12th man. All right. So you go back to the East Coast. Back to the East Coast. You're facing the Cincinnati Bengals. Early kickoff time, too. 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 o'clock, East Coast, West Coast time. But you're facing Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. Got a talented offense, I would want to say. Yeah. What do you expect in this game? Do you see a trap game, possibly? Or... This could be – yeah, this could be a trap game. You know, I don't see the Cincinnati Bengals going to the playoffs. No. I feel like, at best, the Cincinnati Bengals will hover around 500 for the entire year. You know, they right. definitely have weapons on offense. You know, Burrow is uh, recovering from that ACL injury he suffered last year. I think who knows if, bounce back here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who, but who knows if he'll be ready week one? You know, he, he's not a he's not a skilled player. He's not a running back. He doesn't have to worry about cutting on his knee and, all, and things like that. But by December, he should be ready to go if he hasn't already played several right. games. Uh, but I think this should be a game the 49ers should win on paper. We, You know, I just feel like we're, we're the better team, right. and it should be a win. All right, so you return back home to face the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta's another one of those teams coming from my division, the NFC South. Yeah. They're expected to lose this division. Yeah. You take Kyle Pitts in the draft, but you lose Julio to the Tennessee Titans. That's another – Tennessee's a good team, and we'll get into that after this week. But what do you expect in this game? Uh, I expect this game to be – I would say the Niners should win this game by a touchdown. I think by this time of the season, the Falcons won't be in playoff contention. I think they'll be – the players will be already making their vacation plans yeah. once the final season uh, – or once the final game ends. And uh, this should be an easy game for the Niners. So now you go Thursday night football to Nashville, Tennessee, home of the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill, Julio Jones – Derrick Henry, some of those great players on offense. What do you expect in this game? Another primetime game. This is a scary game. It's a short week for the Niners. The Niners have to travel to good old Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> and you mentioned it, Thursday night football primetime. Another uh, primetime game. Another primetime. The Niners got a lot of primetime games. You know, Same with the Bucks. Same with the Bucks. Exactly. <laughs> they put the best teams on primetime. And this game is interesting. Two days before Christmas, it's a short week. It's a Thursday night game. The Niners got to fly over there. You know, all these uh, all these negative aspects for the Niners, um, and I think that that will carry over into the game. I think the Titans will win this game. They could win this game by a touchdown. So 11-4. and four. Now you return back home to face one of the teams <laughs> where I don't even know how to describe this team. Yeah. The Houston Texans. <laughs> You, Deshaun wants out. You lose everyone you want on your team, except Deshaun Watson. J.J. Watt's gone. He's gone to Arizona. I don't know why he would choose Arizona, yeah. but to, it's all about the money. Yeah. What do you What do you expect in this game? Uh, the Texans. I predict the Texans will go zero and seventeen this year. So. I got them going one and sixteen. One and sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. This will be a win for the Niners. The, the Texans organization is in complete disarray. I'm not sure why they're holding on to Deshaun Watson. Well, now I can see why, but months back yeah. when it was clear, when it was yeah. clear he didn't want to be with the organization, just trade him. Get assets. Just trade him. He wanted it. He wanted yeah. it. Out. And rebuild your franchise. But, yeah, this should be a blowout, and hopefully the Niners come prepared and, you know, blow them out early by a few touchdowns. So now week 18, the 17th game of the season, you go back to L.A., close out the season against the Rams. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting? This will be an interesting game, last game of the season, a division game. This game could very well determine the outcome of, you know, the winner of the NFC West. And, uh, you know, this will be an excellent game going up against the uh, NFC West opponent. They're always going to be close games. 
Right. Uh, but I but I think the Niners will pull this game out and win against the L.A. Rams in SoFi Stadium, one of the most expensive stadiums in mm-hmm. the world. <laughs> so you finished the season 13-4. and four. Tell me what you think in the playoffs. In the playoffs, I think we, I think we could have the potential to be a Super Bowl team this year. Um, I think it just depends on who we match up with. Now, your team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, you know, excellent team. Of course, they got TB12. You got the weapons on offense, got an excellent defense. So, that if we like, if the Buccaneers and Niners met in the NFC Championship game, that, that would, would be, be that would be crazy. That'd be an uh, excellent I've been a Bucks game. fan all my life. I've been okay. used to like two and 14, four and 12, one and 15 yeah. days. I've, I've been born since 2002, so I'm a diehard fan. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. So that would be an excellent game. Right. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for wanting to be on the show. I know we're just a smaller little podcast right now, but I'm hoping we'll grow up, grow and be a big podcast. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you're wrong. Tell me if you disagree with me or Jay. And then leave your comment about your favorite team. Comment if you want to be on the episode. I'm always welcome to taking fans. And then this video will be uploaded in the next coming of days. And then the whole group's going to be back together. But thank you so much for tuning in again. And have a good, a good one.